Hello, today I would like to make an update video. It's been over a year since I ordered my PC from Build Redux. Well, over a year since I received my PC from Build Redux. I received my PC when I ordered it, like a month after I ordered it, but that's because of graphics card shortage from scalpers and the facility that they were doing it at had like a weird winter storm. Anyways. Uh, the PC that I have ordered and I received is still here. I'm recording on it right now. Um, the camera quality, that's not, it's not because of the PC. It's because of the camera I have. It's a camcorder. It's a Logitech one. I'm upgrading it soon. But um, it's been running really smooth. I, uh, in one of my videos, uh, the upgrading Build Redux is easy. Uh, I upgraded the CPU, RAM, SSD, and I even added another SSD, and it all works really great. Uh, and I, on the website, for the specs that I have, I don't know about the 2 terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD, but the one I have in in here that I bought off Amazon and upgraded myself, it would be around the same price. Uh, whether or not it's the same quality, I don't know, because they don't list specifically what type of SSD you're going to get. I would hope that since it's compatible with Gen 4 SSDs, the CPU, that they would give you like a 980 Pro or a crucial um, Gen 4 compatible SSD for your M.2 slot. Um, the only thing I noticed that's a little bit concerning is the motherboard that it states is a B550. The one I have, it's an older one, but it's a, pretty sure it's a 370, which means that it has, um, it has like a PCI Gen 4 support. And it has a lot of band. It has some high bandwidth. I don't know about the this motherboard specifically, but I hope that the VRMs are actually pretty robust on it, and it allows for high speed transfer between the SSD and for the graphics card. Because the graphics card and my graphics card, which I did get a 3070, it's more expensive now than when I bought it because I bought it immediately after the 3070 came out. So I only paid 650 for my 3070 build. For my 3070 graphics card, I only paid $650. But it's, I can assure you, it's a great quality product. It's lasted me over a year. I've had no issues with the parts that was originally in it. And I've had no parts upgrade, or no problem upgrading the PC. Um, except for when I tried using 44,000 megahertz uh, DDR4 RAM, but it was working until one of the RAM modules uh, malfunctioned. But I replaced that with some, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Crucial. No, Corsair. I replaced it with Corsair Vengeance RGB only because it was the only ones available because everyone was upgrading their PC last year either building or upgrading their PC, everybody was doing it. So it was the only things left because everyone was buying it cheaper, so I just bought the RGB one. Looks good though. But yeah, if you're looking into getting a pre-built PC to get into it, I would definitely recommend Build Redux. They don't use proprietary parts that you can't uh, replace. They don't use parts that you can't replace yourself, and they don't lock you into their egos, their like, brand you because it's all cooler master cooler master is a very open uh platform they use open platform standards um i don't know about the whole motherboard uh, fan header whether or not it's open platform or not but it seems like it is because all the software reads it correctly so they didn't do any kind of trickery with the motherboard to make sure only the cool cooler master fans work on it so definitely still a good deal compared to Origin PC and other um, 
OEMs that you can buy, like Dell Al or Alienware, uh, Acer. Don't I wouldn't recommend buying PCs from them because they lock you into their little ecosystem, uh, usually with the motherboard and power supply. So I would definitely recommend Build Redux. This is not a paid video. This is pretty much free advertising for them. So if you have any questions about my experience with the PC over the last year, whether it's up with how I upgraded it or any kind of like little questions with the PC that you might have, uh, just leave a comment and I'll try to reach out to you in the comments. Goodbye.